Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch Sheet channel, thank you very much for tuning in for a bonus video about this here quadcopter and this is of course the Isin LAL3HD DJI Vista. So a DJI digital quadcopter. Now I recently released a review of this quadcopter, in fact it was last weekend. Well, depends on when, when you are watching this here video of course, but I recently did a wrap up video about this quadcopter. And I flew the quadcopter for that review completely stock and that was on an old firmware. And after I had uh, done that review I thought well why not upgrade the firmware and do a little bit of tuning. To be honest I hadn't expected it to be very much better because it already flew pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, however, however it, it did turn out to be quite substantially better. And in this video I'm first going to show you one flight and you are watching that flight right now. This is the first flight after I did a little bit of tuning. You tell me in the comment section below what do you think. There is one instance of a little bit of Profas oscillation but most of it is, is gone. Also on the stock setup uh, the quadcopter had a little bit of a bounce back. Little bit. But only in extreme circumstances but that's gone now as well. So that's a win and it still <laughs> flies. Also I've increased the rates quite substantially but that's a personal thing of course. So like I said I'll show you this here flight but I'll also show you the tune. There's not a whole lot of tuning in this quadcopter. It pretty much flew well uh, with the base tune of a beta flight, of the new beta flight. But I did make a couple of changes and I'll show you those uh, in a minute. First here's the flight and again tell me what you think and in a minute I'll show you the tune.
So, what do you say? Not bad, eh? For an Ishin. For a measly Ishin quadcopter, not bad. And that flight was on this here LiPo. And, and well, not this specific LiPo. A 650 milliamp hour 4S Tattoo R line. Now, I also re flew the quadcopter on these, the 850 milliamp hour 4S Tattoo R lines. And before the tune, it didn't have all that much of an impact on the flight time. It did have a, an impact, but not that much. After the tune, so in the, with the tune I'll show you in a second, I now have seven minutes more or less of flight time with this, this here LiPo. And that's definitely more. So the tune also helped in, well, the flight time, I guess. The, the flight time on these, the 650 mAh 4S, was also longer with the tune. So, what is that tune? Let's have a looky! Alright, I am in beta flight and we hit connect. And this new tune, or this new flash with tune, is on beta flight 4.2.3. And if you are new to this, I'd advise you to maybe seek someone's help. Uh, maybe you have uh, someone in your local community that uh, knows about flashing firmware and such. It is not like you can damage the quadcopter by experimenting with this. But, well, it is uh, good to have some uh, a helping hand while figuring things out. Speaking of, you will need the Matec F411, so Matec F411 firmware for this uh, for this quadcopter or for the flight controller in this quadcopter. And again, I've uh, made this tune on Betaflight 4.2.3. And if you are running a different Betaflight version, this tune will not. You shouldn't use my tune on a different Betaflight version. Okay, again, if you are new to this, before you begin, make for instance screen prints of all the settings in Betaflight. For instance, the ports, this port screen, is unchanged. So if you screen print this, you can carry that over to the new flashed Betaflight firmware. Same thing goes for the configuration. Yeah. Yeah, for instance, the, the name over here and uh, the receiver type it is pretty much default, by the way. But uh, soft serial is uh, disabled, telemetry on. Let me see. The D Shot 600 and the uh, motor throttle idle, this 3.5, is not stock Peter Flight. So I've carried that over from the stock tune or the stock setup, if you will. Power and battery. You can screen print this, but this is stock beta flight, no change required. And let me see, yeah, receiver, no change required. Yeah, depends on the receiver you add to the quadcopter, right? So, yeah, maybe screen print that, your modes, the modes you set up. Again, make screen prints of every screen, and the things we need to change are all in this here screen, the PDE tune. And again, it's a very minute or minor change, but I've moved this first slider down to 0.9. That's the only change in this entire screen, but simply compare your setup with what you see uh, in the video. And yeah, by rates, I have increased the rates quite significantly. I think that suits the quadcopter higher rates. Just experiment that and it's also a personal thing. Also even depends on your radio. And I've increased or added Expo, that'll certainly help as this is a freestyle quadcopter. Some Expo will help you out. And filter, yeah, I've dialed down the filters, both these sliders to 0.95. That's needed for this quadcopter because the stack does not have any vibration dampening. I've experimented with this quite a bit with the quadcopter, well quite a bit, about five flights, and this is what I came, uh, came up with. This worked out best, 0.95 for both sliders in the filtering. This is actually the most important change from the stock beta light setup. Again, the, 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 this quadcopter does not have a soft mounting for the stack, which is basically an omission. 
but you solve that by adding a little bit of, of uh, filtering. And after that, a little bit of change uh, to the PID tune itself. Master multiplier 0 0.9 and that's it. No other change required. Was it easy? I told you it was only a minor tune, right? The, the, the biggest difference is the beta flight firmware and the filtering setting. That's the most important things in this, in this setup. And that's it guys, a short little bonus video on this Eshin LAL3. I hope it was uh, informative and or entertaining. Maybe you have this quad coupler or something similar. Should help you out. If you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.